Why hello everybody, my name is Sritex and welcome back to Star Sector. Today everybody, we have a very clear mission. I want to try and get myself to do some exploration. And if we do that, I want to find a colony to start my own space empire. Now of course, every time you play this game, it is hugely randomized. So the chance of actually finding is a great place right away, pretty slim. In fact, I can spend the entire game looking but never find anything if I'm unlucky. So hopefully, we can find what we need. There's actually a bounty here. Ooh. Alad's fleets. That's pretty handy. Now, I don't really want to deploy most of my fleet here because a lot of my friends are not exactly the most powerful units in the universe at this point. We, we got some very strange ships. Now, I will say, we have some pretty good ones as well. Though, if I go, for instance, and deploy this person right here, the Liberator, our big-ass custom battleship, she currently has a D-mob, which means she kind of just doesn't work. So, it's not really viable even attempting to deploy that. But one day, when my randomized skill manage to get rid of that d-mod we will use it in combat in the future for now though let's deploy our forces and we'll go from there um do i want both teams i think we should it's a bounty target right we will make a profit from this regardless we're not fighting a random enemy we're killing someone with a purpose now my friends we must destroy our foes where where are they Okay, there they are. They, these ships are pretty scary, but they should be pretty squishy. If we just break through their defenses, it should be fine. But they do have... Oh, I hate vanguards. They are pretty good at just being a nuisance. Uh, pretty much all times. Ah, that's a nice cruiser you have there. Uh, excuse me, it's friend. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm trying to get past you here. <laughs> Let me please attack the enemy here. There's a lot of firing going on right now, but I think we should be okay. Oh, these aren't easy. This is like a cargo ship, this one. I like how their shields are so tiny, they're not really defending most of it. It seems the pirates are absolutely in love with all these real-life guns. Like, they seem to be using them all over the place. They're absolutely everywhere. Alright. Okay, the good news is, though, it's already used its first one. It only has a few charges until it runs out. So if we just keep attacking, it will be in trouble soon. Yes. Finish it, finish it, finish it. Excellent, enemy down. Uh oh. Okay, enemy pirate cruiser has been spoiled. We're trying to take down its flux. This thing's pretty fast if it wants to be, so you've got to be a little bit careful. Tempest, what are you. Get out the way, mate. <laughs> what are you doing? Another one bites the dust. There's a lot of enemy fighters around here. I want to try and get myself some more decent cruisers and carriers and stuff as well. Especially for later on the game, we've got to take on the space stations. If we get a lot of bombers, we should be looking pretty powerful. Ah, that's a nice hole you have there. Shame of someone to fire a torpedo into it. Actually, wait, I changed my mind. We'll fire into this guy instead. Please use your ability to charge me. I would love that. Oh, where did my shields go? I must... Whoa! No! There's a chance I fought my shields were online. And they weren't. This is the result of that belief. Always presume that you've somehow turned your own shields off, everybody. That's my motto in life. Well, the good news is I'm not dead, but the bad news is I've got a lot of injury. Uh, let's go and take these guys down over here. I want to change my mind. Let's go for this guy. Hopefully my friends can help me out defeating the enemy frigates. If we get close enough, I can fire a Reaper into it, and it should die quite quickly. You've got to bear in mind they also have a Reaper, though. You can't dodge this. Die! It dodged it. Not the second one though. It's fine. Okay. Nearly. Beautiful. I love my new gunner mechs as well. They are pretty fun. Okay, the enemy's putting back their carrier. Oh, I know what hit me. It was these. They must have some World War II bombers. They're kind of hard to know where they are. Because you can see them, of course. But they haven't got like a marker on them. So I'm like, are they allies or friendlies? Can't really tell. My god, that gun is just wrecking it. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Why are these guns so loud? Yeah, okay, let's try and take them down. Get okay, a little bit closer. If you fly in my way, I'm going to keep shooting, okay, Wolf? I'm not going to stop. If you want to get yourself killed, get in my path. Okay, another one bites the dust. This is a big carrier. I don't know what his special ability is. Maybe it's like instant refit or something. Actually, we can just we can just check. Its ability is maneuvering jets. Ah, yes, I do know carriers are always quite maneuverable in World War II. I'm being sarcastic. Ooh. Okay, unfortunately, because it is a World War II ship, we have to deal with a lot of armor. But once we break through that, it should be dead quite quickly here. 
Luckily, we got a lot of support units flying around. So I was being bitten by a tiny spider. <laughs> it's very distracting. It hates me for some reason, like most living things. Okay. Enemy has been defeated. Oh, they got what? Wait, I didn't realize they had another pirate cruiser. It seems like it's being contained, though, which is great to see. Oh, come on, guys. If you can land some of those torpedo hits, it's going to be doomed. This wolf's doing a great job of not getting killed, though. Oh, getting close. Okay, hopefully the Tempest can do some damage here. What I'm a bit concerned about is feasibility of not dying. We probably should change its... Um, but can I just... Uh, advanced... Oh, I don't think I can do it from this one. I was going to change it so it's a little bit less gung-ho. I feel like it's a bit too aggressive at the moment. It's going to get it killed at some point. Though, right now, though, this enemy is being completely swarmed and destroyed, which is great to see. I have a flamethrower wolf? I didn't realise I had that. <laughs> is that the flame lance? Wait, really? Phase lance. I didn't... I also never equipped it before. I didn't realise phase lance actually meant flamethrower. It's not what I was imagining from the weapon. Okay, kill as many as possible if we can. We'll wipe them out. Oh, they still escape. Never mind. And we get a little bit of stuff back. Not too great, though. But we got some money, which is good to see. Do you know what? If we actually pick up some... Ooh. If we go and find ourselves 500 metal, which we currently have 235, we can also, instead of getting a planet, we can go and just recolonize the system. Uh, so if, instead, we can just go and recolonize a station. I actually know where there's one nearby as well. Well, not here, but in the core world. So that could be pretty fun. We'll let them go. We'll let them go. Oh, this place actually has nothing because I've already been here. So, as we've already explored the system before, I want to have a look around nearby. So, honestly, I did try and uh, record a second ago and I went up north and there wasn't really anything of interest there at all, to be honest. It was a bit of a dead situation. There's also now a bounty nearby. We should probably find that. Uh, where is it? Oh, we know where they are. They're here. Arid World. They're literally just up the top there. Very nice. Okay, have a look. Oh, have I leveled up? Oh, nice. Check this out. Okay, so what do I want to do at this point? I... Ooh. What do I want in my game? I feel like this one's going to be a great idea. This is a general combat enhancer. 15% maximum combat readiness for everybody, which means everyone works slightly better with their, like, firing rate, movement, everything's slightly better. And it also means that there's concurrent battles over and over again. We can keep going back for more for longer. And the more operating time, also a great shout. We'll go for that for sure. This will cost us a lot of supplies on the interim, though, because now we have to go and refill all the CR to the higher level, which is, uh, as you can tell, going to be a bit expensive. But, like I said, it's going to be pretty handy. I mean, like, for instance, the comparison here... There is no modifier for my ship currently. It's got nothing at all. I kind of missed it back. I always say this quite a lot. I, I miss the old carrier combat. And I also miss the old crew system. But I know it was very intensive for the performance. They used to have like... No, currently you have marines that level up over time. If they do combat. These guys here. This used to be how crew were. They started green. They rank up to legendary status. And they got more and more skills. And that was depending on how... So that was determining how the ship was doing in combat. I preferred that. Anyway, so if I get to 75%, I believe, we then get the point where we get this buff. 5% more speed, damage taken, reduction, and delts, as well as auto-fire accuracy. Pretty handy. I don't think there is a better version than this. I think that's just the maximum. But if we get to 100%, we'll check it again. I, I'm not really certain right now. Anyway. Why, hello, enemy. Whitney. Let's go. I don't think we need the second squad for this one. I think I'm happy with what we have. And see how it goes. I think I would like to... I did put something on the tempers quickly, but I feel like I want a better version of weapons for this in the future here. Okay. Oh, he's got dual torpedo launchers. This is a potentially instant pop ship. We've got to be very careful with him. The good news is, in terms of regular combat, he's not going to be too great. But he's definitely going to be a danger otherwise. If I can shoot where well, I'm trying to shoot right now. Oh, I'm trying to get the engines, but it's not going... Oh! Okay, let's go for the guys right in front of me first, anyway. Because they're quick and easy kills. One down. Let me destroy you. 
I'm a bit concerned about that big battleship. Is it going to be super, super tanky again? Yeah, it's going to be super, super tanky. Uh, I might actually be considered, because he's only fighting frigates, right? So the chance of him hitting his chance is quite low. Oh, either we've already killed it. Never mind. I was going to say I was going to do a torpedo run on it, but not really required. Yes. Nice. This guy got wiped. That's what I want to see. Hold, taking whole damage. Oh no. Oh, he's being killed by it anyway? How? Just reverse. Okay, he's killed himself there. He's found a way. <laughs> I should have focused on the big ship. My bad. I don't like losing ships. It upsets me. Okay, it's trying to get a bit closer on this guy. He's going to go for each target, one after another. Are you flying another World War II ship? Yes, but he's already broken the armor on that one, so it shouldn't be that long. Okay, I'm going to try and stick with my friend here. I feel like without that, we might be overwhelmed by this weirdly fast pirate cruiser. Get out of the way, your friend. Bit late there with the firing, but it's okay. Come and fight me, Falcon. Come and fight me. Okay, keep up some pressure on this phase ship so it doesn't have the ability to always just refill its flux. Oh, that was a bit of a brazen attack. Oh. I feel like if I fire now, it's going to easily dodge. The Falcon is pretty maneuverable. If I got get, I got to get out of the way of my friend here. Now, because it has the medium thing, it can just continually refill itself, but only to a limit. I think it's got like six or eight on there, so it can refill quite a bit. Finish it. Excellent. Okay, everyone's coming over here now. This is the last of the enemy forces. Gotta be careful, though. When I get closer, I'm, I am going to try and get closer, despite the torpedo risk. I'm going to shoot my own torpedoes at it. We also could try and overload it if we're lucky. Yes! Beautiful shot. The first one missed, but the second one got tri tri true and killed our foes. It's always a shepherd. It always survives, weirdly. Victory! So that was both of them down and out for the count. Let's recover my friend here. I am happy with what we have. We'll take this. Thank you. And we got even more supplies. Nice. Cool. So now we've got tons of money. Definitely enough to go and reclaim a asteroid if we find one or a star base. And the Duke's leveled up as well. Let's pick you. System expertise. I don't really like any of these at this point. They did change the skill. I don't think it's as good as it used to be. Basically, this means you get a damage, uh, flux reduction of 15%. I, it used to be a lot different, I think. I think it used to just give you more flux degradation passively. I thought that was a better system there. We go for this one, though. System expertise. You can never go wrong with having more. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. So, he's leveled up more than once. And, unfortunately, the other skills to pick aren't exactly what I want to see right now. Ah, what do we do? What do we do? It's a tough one. I think we go for the flux efficiency one. Even though I was saying it wasn't that great compared to the old version, I think it's still better than the other choices there. That was some bad choices. I really want him to get gunnery implants for sure. And also he needs to get... Oh, she hasn't got it either. I want to get the basic... Oh, I can't remember what it's called now. Let me show you. This one. Combat endurance. That's another really, really important one to get. Which we don't seem to be getting anymore. <laughs> Damn it. It's okay. It's okay. Anyway, so with that out of the way, uh, let's have a quick look around. Oh, it is getting slightly better. Interesting. So, enemies have been defeated around here. I've already surveyed this location. What Was this place not great? 150% and it has industrial ruins. Do you know what? Despite the hazard rating, I am extremely curious what this is. I think we should colonize this planet. And is there a... Um, wait, is there a gate here? I don't think there's a gate here, is there? But I think it's very close by. No, there is a gate here. That's how I got in. Sorry. It's because I went into two separate bounties. I'm not used to being in the same system. Yes, there is a gate here. Okay, yes. We're going to take this. This is going to be mine. Okay, so we're going to name this June. Because I like the name. Let's take this over. 
confirm. What should we call our empire? I'm going to be calling it the... Oh, I don't even know. House of Trades. <laughs> uh, House Fawn. House Fawn. And we are a... Uh, House Fawn HTS. Does that really work? Um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really sure. His ducal ship? HDS. That does kind of work. We'll go for that one. Okay, as a flag, we'll go for this fella. I watched June 2 last night, by the way. Um, as to more references. And yes, I'm aware the planet's called Arrakis, but don't worry about it. Then again, I think the Freeman called it June, so it, both of them are actually correct. Cool, so this place has been set up. We've got our problems of hazard pay, of course, and as we're using a mod, there is a stupidly large amount of things we can pick here. Now, we can actually colonize, not colonize, we can actually terraform this, as far as I know, but I have to modify some files for some reason, so we may or may not do that. I don't like the idea of terraforming, though, in this game, because I want you to just make everything into the same thing, right? So I'm kind of happy just living on this place and doing things with it. What the hell is this? I can create a dinosaur park. What? Really? Okay, well, maybe. <laughs> it's an industry though. Base income, 120 pounds. Mm. Accessibility, 0.03. <laughs> Guys, I've been trying to figure out what to build. I did not notice that there was an entire building which isn't normally here. The ruins are right there. I was trying to find it in the list. I was like, there's nothing to do with ruins here whatsoever. So, old industrial ruins. Ancient ruined industrial compounds can be found throughout the countryside of this world. Their origin of builders is unknown, but they look to be pre-collapse. So, if I upgrade it, what does it do? Your engineers are baffled at the sight of massive arrays looking to be nothing other than modified antimatter blasters, arranged in a ring of titanic proportions. So, it just costs money. Okay, well, I guess we want to try and save it for this, right? Well, I want to see what this does. So, for now, though, I have decided on farming. Because it's very cheap, and I got plus one. Next, probably will be... I'll probably go for, like, mining for now. We will switch things around as we get bigger, but at least we get some passive income. I should be happy. Now, of course, we are very, very far away from the rest of the galaxy. Though, actually, it's not giving me a modifier for that. Oh. Oh, no. 23%. Yeah, that's not great. <laughs> <laughs> this will give me 50%. If we get money to upgrade it as well, it'll be 80%. So definitely worth trying to get sorted out. For now, though, I think we'll leave this place be. House Fawn has arrived. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Wait, what's this? Tax records. Why am I paying tax to my own people? Is this not based off the hegemonies thing? What the hell? Oh, I'm not going to worry about it. They can come and try and kill me if they want to. So, sorted. Now, the best thing about this place is it actually comes with a plus two relay, which is actually pretty great because the basic one you can build is only plus one. So I'm going to grab that right away. Help my carny. I can hear some people flying around. I presume that is all the random fly guys everywhere. Nice. Okay, so with that set up, if we look at my Connie right now, I think we're a bit safe in this mod set anyway. There's less modifiers that are just like, oh, you're losing everything to criminals for 200 days or something. It's more just static. So we've already got ourselves plus five stability in this place already. That's great news. There is a problem with food, of course, but that should actually deal with itself when we get the farming sort up. So that should be plus eight already, which is pretty damn good if I say so myself. Now, I'm not afraid of selling drugs, so we're going to be going to do that. It takes a while to tick up a little bit to get to full power but eventually we should be around five stability with our current buildings at the moment now i will increase this up we will get ourselves ground defenses we've got ourselves space stations all the things we need to try and succeed here as we play through the game i'm also going to try and get some of these variable assemblers because we can probably build some of rarer not rare just we could build some items i got loads of chip sets right now and we can probably use quite a few to make a bit of a profit now i'm going to jump back into the system quickly because i want to get rid of all this i have tons and tons of things on my inventory right now i'm also going to quickly phase away and i'm going to go and put my big capital ship in here as well just so we know where it is okay everybody so at this point i went back and decided to do a few things and i've actually equipped this now instead so i was thinking originally oh, i'm not really keen about having that cool battleship i found but it's cursed that deep mod made it pretty useless in my opinion however 
this guy would still work normally. He's only got degraded shields. That's pretty much it. So I said I decided to equip it. Now, I will say his fit is not perfect because we've got limited equipment and whatnot. But I think with the combination of its basic weapons and also that it has itself gunnery control mods, which I have customized by. I'll show you on the other menu. It's a lot clearer. I think this might work. Um, I'm actually going to use it as my main flagship. I don't know if I will personally drive it myself, but it will be in the battlefield with my rest of my fleet. But we'll see how it does. I've changed it a lot, so it's got a lot of point defense, but it has some big core damages. It has itself some drivers, some kill shields, and an anti-armor on the main, so it's actually take down the enemy's main, well, armor and hull, that kind of thing. So hopefully this works out in the future, we'll have to see. I will say I would definitely try and change its fighters and bombers at some point, but we haven't got access to that many at the at this time so there's what it is anyway with all this sorted out now we should be good to go actually i've got my pretty cool things up and also more confident because we have a big ship in our fleet we could probably try and kill some of these larger more dangerous bounty targets which are all over the map so we're gonna do just that i will say as well i need to kind of, i need to go and join the main war because i didn't realize at the time but the hivers are just invading everything rapidly and it's looking pretty bad we want to make sure we don't lose the game while i'm setting up to the hivers because killing every single person in the universe is be pretty bad in fact i might actually go over there right now and see if we can do some damage because uh i've fallen pretty common right now if we can intercept some of their like trade convoys or anything help stop invasions all that would be useful in the future at least i think so teleport away so where is the invasion place it's not here but it's nearby there is actually a hiver base here is there not i think there is no, that's looted path my apologies okay so we probably want to grab nothing actually i was gonna say we want to get some more resources but i think we're already looking pretty good we just go right over to the hive system and we we'll check it out from there invasion outpost okay that's okay i just gotta keep an eye out for hive invasions so there's one gonna be in quite a few days 97 that's quite the distance actually it may be okay maybe we can fly off kill a bounty then come back i mean weapon fuel range we've got plenty of fuel let's try and find this person here so they are going to be on... Oh, we know exactly where they are. They said it's going to be in a volcanic world, which there is two in this system. So chances are, it might be in here. Hello? Quite far away. Forgot about that. What do we need to repair that one as well? Oh, was it defeating an enemy, perhaps? I think that might have been what it was. To be fair, we might have a chance of killing that now, but I'd rather get the bounty system locked in first. There they are. Hey, buddy! So he's got some... What is this? Standard cruiser. Ah, okay. I think it should be okay. We're going to deploy him. Apparently, it's a very cool battle, so I'm not that concerned. We'll deploy the entire force. Oh, we can't deploy. No. <laughs> I'll deploy that, then we're keeping the frigates for later, then. Shit. Or oh, we're just calling all the big guns. There you go, that dude. Okay, let's get in there. Behold, my new dreadnoughts. It's apparently extremely aggressive. <laughs> Calm down! You're attacking your friends here. Back off. Oh. Okay, enemy spot. We're going in. No, 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 no. Wait, Red Dwarf. Don't, no. Wait, let me get out of the way of you. Let me. Okay, you can go ahead now. Don't worry. You can do what you want here. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's a funky looking ship. Okay, we've got a lot of friends here. I will leave them to... That's too fast for me. That's going to be way too hard to keep up with. We'll let that be. Look how many missiles we have right now. It's a bit ridiculous. I think we'll go for the vastly slower and more easy to catch ships instead. Well, they got their own eagles and stuff as well. Okay, I hope this works out okay. The main power of my ship is going to be when the enemy hasn't got shields. So as long as we keep the enemy flux down low, we should get a lot of firepower here. Mostly because it's got all these hull bursters from the Volkov Industries. They're very effective. Oh, we've already losing the hammerhead? To what? Fight spam. Okay, that's not good. And it's it. Well, that wasn't a very good start for us there, but it's okay. It's a very weird looking ship. Is it in range yet? It's here. Oh my god. <laughs> Sir, it's a monster. What do we do? Oh, it's going to be glorious. At least I think it's going to be glorious. No, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. We can fix it. It's fine. Uh, yeah, super death shots. Don't shoot at fighters, please. Yeah, don't, don't do that. Yeah, just stay away. Just shoot regular enemies. 
and we can win the game, please. Okay. Now it should be attacking enemy ships instead. We'll see if it does any better. We should have to get through the enemy shields first, though. Oh, wait. What the hell? Do you know what? I'm pretty sure I set this up, but it seems to have unset itself. I don't know how I've managed this. So you're targeting shields, no fighters, whole flux. Reaper call- wait, this is my ship. Sorry, that makes more sense. Oh, wait. Buddy, I'm confused by your lack of shooting how I want you to shoot here. No fighters, whole flux, avoid shields. Weapon will prioritize targets without shields. Flanked. Okay, can we just do no shields, please? Is that an option? Hmm. I know there's a thing in the game somewhere. I've seen it before. Just that right now we're apparently having a bit of trouble, uh, which is annoying. Uh, okay, so clearly I didn't do this properly because it decided to not care about shields at all. Which is annoying because I was hoping that we can get it to work how I wanted it to. We have to ignore it for now. We'll keep it going. And when we go past afterwards, we'll change it to set over a little bit. Because it's currently wasting its shots on enemy shields, which is the opposite we want it to do. Regardless though, it will still work. <laughs> it's fine. It's just not as effective as I want it to be. Oh, I would not attack my capital ship with fighters. That's not a good idea, buddy. We have too much point defense on there. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, looking pretty good so far. Why are you not capturing that point, buddy? Just go south. Though I know the Tempest is winning against his enemy, though, which is good to see. Okay, let's go for the Condor. That should be an easy kill. He's got mech guards. Ooh. Did I, did I not hit it? Oh, I thought I was going to land a hit there. I need to use Reaper's Maw so we can learn the uh, intricacies of its fire rate and stuff. My flux is getting a bit scary. Should be okay though. He stopped firing himself because of his own flux, so we shouldn't be having a bit of a problem here. Finish him! Excellent. Enemy down. Okay, we've got this weird spinny thing at the moment. It's, quite, it's like a Star Trek ship. It's got just a giant circle. Tempest is now going down. So whatever was causing it to win earlier has now ended. Now it's losing its battle instead. Though it does seem to have some backup nearby. No, we need to help him. Um, can you keep your distance? Just back up and go from there. We can call in a little bit of backup at the start, I think, just to get some walls to help us out a little bit. I think they're too far away to save the Tempest, though. I think the Tempest is doomed, unfortunately. Ah, oh, I broke it. Okay, this thing's, this thing's pretty squidgy. We can take this down quickly. And... Need it. Oh, I recovered the last second. <laughs> Damn it. There you go. Enemy down. Perfect. Where were those shots going off on? Oh, if you shoot that with a whole blast, I'm pretty sure it would still kill it. What are you doing with your shots? So I'm a bit concerned about where it's shooting its main weapons. They seem to be missing the shots very often. Oh, that was definitely hit there. That one worked out. There you go, that's what I want to see. I think sometimes it's firing when it's using its special ability, which is throwing off the AI aiming a little bit. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I love that weapon. Okay, I think we're okay here then. There's still some enemies trying to retreat, but for the most part, we have smashed about here. And he's gone. <laughs> Never to be seen again. Nice. So we did lose two ships there, unfortunately, but this is what it is. Uh, we sent some random walls off on the engagement, and we've wiped out their entire fleet. Excellent. Okay, so unlike last time, these will actually have some good ships. So I'm going to try and take whatever this one is. This was quite interesting to me. And we use it in our fleet. Oh, we got a plasma cannon. That is a fun weapon. Enemy down. Also leveled up again. 
So, what do we want to do here? I feel like we should probably grab... Ooh, this one seemed pretty good, right? Oh, this one's amazing. All combat ships, carriers, and civilian ships have 20% less recoil and 25% target leading accuracy for auto-firing weapons. That is a huge bonus to shooting people, definitely. And also, it makes the Marines a lot better as well. So that is a no-brainer for us at the moment. Let's take all that. Perfect. Okay, so the bounty has been cleared. I just want to double-check what's going on over here. Was it us having to kill... The Guardian? I think that was what it was. Yes, it is. Should we give it a shot? See if we can win it. Okay, let's give it a shot. So, I'm going to go for... Just the this guy first. And we'll deploy everyone else afterwards. Uh, this is mainly just because I want to make sure he's at the front of the battlefield. Uh, though we could probably... No, let's just do it now. Everyone deploy him. Apart from the ships that are damaged. And... I think we should be good. Go. So as he deployed him by himself at the front, he will be on the front line at the start here. I don't think he's going to get instant pot before we even get there, but you never know. It could happen. He's already fighting full barrel at the moment. Oh, oh that was the wrong button! Oh no, I don't want to switch command. Go back, go back. Let me back inside. I can't see what's happening. Are you okay, Red Dwarf? He's taken a little bit of damage, but nothing too crazy here. And the enemy ship is full flux. Great. So he's already weak in a weakened state. We can hopefully push through on this. I'm here. Okay, we're in. Let's go for it. Okay, I'm going to start off with just smashing two torpedoes right down its throat in a second. But it is a bit fast. Oh! No, oh, the last one missed. Torpedoes hitting, main weapons hitting. This is looking great. I think we've got this in the bag. I was, we might lose the manticore, but loss-wise, this went very, very well. Dead. Nice. Can I capture that? No. <laughs> Game says no. More plasma cannons. I'll take them. Excellent. Okay, so the enemy has been destroyed. You, you can drag this, right? Uh, blah, 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 blah. A colony of in 10 light years of this location could benefit from a huge influx of population. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. I can't drag it around, unfortunately. But we have now cleared that enemy off the map there, which is good to know. So, that didn't really achieve anything in terms of the gameplay, but at least we managed to kill ourselves the big-ass enemy. Uh, let's try and get out of here as soon as possible. I haven't got the ability yet just to leave a sector whenever I want to, unfortunately, so it's a bit annoying getting out of these places. And we have our brand new ship down here, so if I go down the bottom... What do you currently have equipped? He's got Iron Lancers built in. Interesting. Very interesting. So he's got a very Pacific build then. Let's just give it ourselves some point defense for now. And I think we need to find ourselves a better... Just regular weapon here. What's that? Just like general damage or maybe anti-armor specifically. Oh, these are not normal heavy Iron Lancers. Actually, I mean, they might be. I'm not sure. But they do damage against shields. So we need to have something that's good against armor. Or maybe something that's just generally good at things. I guess we could put on this. But it's terrible against shield, uh, armor. Which is not what I want to see there. It's okay. We'll find something better at some point. Shame that wasn't a large mount. If we can have like a, um, the orb cannon there. That would be really cool. Okay, perfect. Now, I also want to have a look over this way quickly. Can I upgrade this yet? 300,000. Not yet. Not yet, sir. But one day we will get what we need. I also am considering doing the hazard growth thing, but for now I think we'll leave it off. At least until I get more stable income. Okay, so if we have a look around a little bit, they're spanning out quickly, aren't they? They're all over the place. Let's go and visit Dive Avionics. So I've got myself a few things I want to sell to them. So I want to have an ally, right? If we get attacked, having an ally will make ourselves a lot stronger in the long run here. So we go over that way. I'm going to go and sell them all my prisoners, and also I'm going to give them a lot of my beta cores. Not beta, sorry, gamma cores, apologies. So hopefully this will foster some good relations between us, and we can get a powerful ally in the future here. Oh, also, when was it? When was the attack on our... Uh, 61 days. It should be okay. I'm going to be too fast for this, I think. There's a gap! Go, go, go! Not a gap, damn it. <laughs> Oh, 
Hello, new best friend. I think they already hate me, by the way, unfortunately, but we can probably turn that around. Neutral. That's not that bad. Okay, uh, friend. I would like to give you... Prisoners. We're now at negative. We're now at neutral relations. So they just don't really think anything about me at all. Uh, Calm relay, base manager, AI cores. Yes. Okay. So give them all the gamma cores. This will give us quite a bit of reputation game here. Don't really think it's worth losing a beta core over that, but we made a little bit of progress. Favorable relationships now. So we're looking a bit better. I could also in theory be commissioned with them temporarily, but I don't know if that's the best idea. Uh, good news is though. We might attempt to... We could do a commission with them. I'm really poor right now. Just in fact, just trying to speed up the game a little bit. If I get a commission, I can attack their targets, get paid always for killing people. And also I can make like loads of monthly income we can use to supercharge our economy. So maybe we should do that first until we get enough money. And then when we get the enough, we can split off and make our own faction properly then. So let's make a commission with these guys if they accept me. Yes. Done. That should make life a lot easier for us, I think. And this also means we can now go and get all these stuff once we get more relations with them. Cool. I'm happy with that. Uh, let's have a look around, though. Oh, they got some haze cruisers and stuff. So these guys have some really nice weapons and stuff that we can hopefully try and equip and use. Ah, oh, yes! <laughs> I love that ship. Is there more? Oh, these are really good frigates. They're definitely better than... I think they're definitely better than the wolves. They're very adaptable. I might also get myself a second tug as well. Okay. For now, I don't want to spend too much money because we need to get colony enhancements going. But we can probably have a quick look at a few things. Let's make sure we get this stuff equipped up and ready to go. I strike lance repeater. That's a pretty generalist one, I think. So it might be work out pretty well. Also, in fear, I can just equip this on here. Oh, that might be pretty cool, actually. Screw it. This is a dangerous ship. <laughs> Don't mess with this guy. So we've got an extremely fast ship that just catches people and shoots torpedoes at them. It's pretty fun. Uh, is there any point building that one in? I'm not sure. It does reduce Ranger a little bit, but if it's got torpedoes on it, I don't really care that much. Is there... Wait, can we put on... Do I have it unlocked? I don't know if I do, actually. Weapons. No, I don't. There's one that doubles your ammo. That would have been pretty handy for this situation, but we don't seem to have it right now, unfortunately. But it is what it is. That's okay. We can expend out its flux suspension a little bit, so it's a bit more flux efficient. I'm going to leave it at that for now. The additional units, most of this stuff is built in. I think I normally give it high velocity drivers, if I recall. So that's a pretty nice general one to have. And we we'll give it some point defense as well. This guy is extremely fast. He's on semi-auto. What did I normally give him? I think it was semi-auto, actually. There's different firing modes for its inbuilt guns, and they do different things. I feel like semi-auto is a nice, like, all-rounder one. Let's give this guy, though, more range. Okay, I think I'll equip most people here. We're going to give this mid-range pressure. I think that's orbs it shoots out. We'll give this one the strike repeater, which I think will work better. And we'll also give him the point defense version of the ship. And I think he should work pretty well. We'll have to see after a few engagements though. If he dies quite often, I've made a mistake here. It's always hard to remember what all the different weapons do and how they go together. So just trying to remember that is a bit of a nightmare for me at least anyway. Uh, done. Okay, so everyone's got stuff equipped and ready to go. I'm also going to probably switch out this with the strike as well. And we can also fit in a little bit more. That it. Done. Okay, I think everyone's equipped and good to go. Okay, so I've switched around a few things as well. I've also given myself a heavy emitter. And I've given this guy six, uh, three squads of snipers instead. <laughs> I don't know, is this a good idea? I don't know. Let's quickly try against... Because I'm. If I remember when I played these guys as a full faction, the snipers are really good against frigates. So I'm just going to test it really quickly. See how it works out. Let's see what happens in a second. It's kind of like having those high velocity drivers that just fly around like a fighter wing. I mean, without me even being involved, they're already doing a lot of damage to these enemies over here. And they also got these little fighter wings as well, which are really good against shielding. Hey, look at this. They're soloing this wolf without me even being involved in the main ship. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I'm happy with that. Sorted. Cool. So we got ourselves some new powers there. I would love to still make an alliance, but I don't think they would even consider it if I'm 
a commissioned person, but it's okay. Cool. That's all that sorted out. We gotta make sure for a while we do not make a mistake. Oh, oh wait, no! Hi. Well, damn it. <laughs> no, they damaged the red dwarf. Not the boat. Not the red dwarf. Please no. I can't believe it. Wait, what's happening? Are there pirates everywhere? Is there a bounty here? There's not. Uh, there's no point in me staying here, then I'm going to fly away. So let's try and get over to the system that's going to get attacked by the Hivers, and we'll give our support to them. So I've made it to the system that's going to get attacked by the Hivers very shortly. So at this point, we're probably going to end the episode here. Now, I've been recording for an hour and 20 minutes at this point, so I have recorded a lot for this episode, but I feel like I'm going to cut a lot of it out because I did a lot of, like, refits and stuff, because I do like to test refits a little bit before I put them in the video, and also we have so many different options, it's always takes a bit of time to try and figure out what is good and what's not good. It's a bit of a long situation. So for now, I'm going to end the episode here. Next episode, we're going to try and fight the Hivers quite a bit. With my commission, we can hopefully kill, like, for instance, some supply wagons, make money that way, get a good bunch of money, and upgrade my settlements a lot before we make our own empire properly, being independent. But for now, we are a commission fleet for the Diable Avionics, and I hope that everyone has enjoyed this episode. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment below, and I'll see you next time. Bye.